Hi, in my previous video on matrices, we have seen how do we use matrices to solve a system of linear equation. In this video, we will see how do we represent a matrix and what do we mean by equality of two matrices. So let us begin with representation of matrix. A matrix can be represented by a capital letter A, B, C and so on. We always represent a matrix by a capital letter. Matrix can also be represented by the representative element. If there is a matrix A and it is represented by the representative element Aij. So this I represents the row in which that element is lying in the matrix and J represents the column in which that element is lying in the given matrix. A matrix can also be represented in the form of a rectangular array. This rectangular array is an array which consists of all the elements of the matrix. So if we have a matrix A, it can be represented in a rectangular array form A11, A12 and so on A1N, A21 and so on A2M and we fill in all the elements of the matrix here. This is a M cross N matrix. What is M here? M is the number of rows and n is the number of columns. So the order of matrix A here is m cross n. The order of the matrix is m cross n and these are the different ways in which a matrix can be represented. A matrix representation of matrix is clear to everyone. Now let us see what do we mean by equality of two matrix. If there is a matrix A a 2 by 2 matrix so it will have two rows and two columns okay this is a 2 by 2 matrix and we have another matrix B this is also a 2 by 2 matrix so for matrix A to be equal to matrix B, the first condition is that the order of the two matrices should be equal. So if matrix A is M cross N and then matrix B should also have the same order and it should be a M cross N, M rows and N columns matrix same as matrix A. And the second condition is that the corresponding elements should be equal. By corresponding elements we mean the elements at the same position in both the matrix. So if we look at matrix A and matrix B here, A11 should be equal to B11. These are the corresponding element. A11 is in the first row and first column and similarly B11 is in matrix B in the first row and the first column. A12 should be equal to B12. A21 should be equal to B21 and A22 should be equal to B22. If that is the case, then we say that the two matrices A and B are equal matrices. So I hope the conditions necessary for two matrix to be equal is clear to everyone. The first one is that the order of the two matrices should be equal. If the order is equal, then please go ahead and check the corresponding elements of the two matrix. If they are equal, then the two matrix then the two matrices are considered to be equal. So let us learn this more through the example. We have two examples here. Let us start with example one. They have given us two matrix and the matrix are equal. It is mentioned in the question. We have to find the values of X and Y. Let us just write down the order of the matrix here order of this matrix is two rows and two columns and the order of this matrix is also two rows and two columns. So the first condition order should be same is satisfied. So orders are same and if the matrix are equal then the corresponding element should be equal. So what are the corresponding elements? Minus 5 corresponds to 
minus 5 of the second matrix. Correct? X will correspond to 13. X is in the first row and the second column. And this X corresponds to 13 of the other matrix. Y corresponds to 12. And the fourth element which is in the second row and second column in both the matrices are 8. If the matrices are equal, then we see that X will be equal to 13 and Y will be equal to 12. Okay, so we are able to figure out the values of X and Y when the two matrices are given equal in this particular case by making the corresponding elements of the two matrices equal. Now let us see example 2. In example 2 again we have been given two matrices which are equal. The orders of the two matrix are same. This is a 3 by 3 matrix and this is also a 3 by 3 matrix. The corresponding elements, the first element of the first matrix which is x plus 2 should be equal to the first element of the second matrix which is 2x plus 6. According to the definition of equality of matrix, the corresponding element should be equal. When we solve this, we get 2 minus 6 is equal to 2x minus x and we get x is equal to negative 4. Similarly, y plus 2, which is the element in the third row and the third column, corresponds to 11, which is the element in the third row and third column of the second matrix. And from here, we get y as 9. Okay, if y is 9, then 2y here is 2 times 9, which is equal to 80. And hence we see that the value of x for two matrices to be equal should be minus 4 and the value of y should be 9. So I hope the concept of equality of two matrices is clear to everyone. In our next video, we will see how do we perform the addition and subtraction operation on the two matrices. If you have any doubts regarding this video, you can send me an email at kirti.mathacademy at gmail.com. This is my YouTube channel, Math Academy. If you have liked my videos, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.